Okay. Wait. It's Julius. But. Oh. Excuse me. Uh, just fixing the quality of my camera. You see me? Ow, D. Seeing me isn't important, but hearing me is. I mean, I could just record this and audio bit. But what's the atmosphere? Quite so. Now. Well, it's spring. Well, actually, yeah. Well, yeah, I think it's next week, uh, the start of spring. Well, officially, I mean, in America, they have this uh, stupid tradition about determining the start of spring from some uh, groundhog thing that comes out the ground and has a shadow or some stupid thing like that. Only in America. Only in America. Yes. That's something I could run about in the future, but I'll probably just get banned since a lot of people have American prejudice. I see. What good things have America did for us? For kids entertainment. George W. Bush. Yes. Awkward silence. That was a bit sarcastic, but I don't give a toss. Well. The spring coming up. You might notice that there's little white things in the sky. Ooh, white things in the sky appearing more often. No, they're not you are forced, you stupid bastards there. Uh, the stars, yes. Tiny little things in the sky called stars. And there's a big white thing, a circular thing that changes shape every night. For every month. That, my friends, is called the moon. And if you look carefully, it has a face in it. Oh, the Japanese. The Japanese have a little folklore thing that is a rabbit making rice cakes on the moon. I suppose if you look carefully, yeah. It does kind of make sense, but... It all depends on your imagination. It's like constellations. Constellations are series of pictures that people make by looking at stars. It was long ago, people didn't have the internet. <gasps> no internet? <gasps> yes, people didn't have the internet. People didn't even have TV. That meant no stupid soap operas. It meant no 4chan, stuff like that. No trolling. <coughs> people went out and did things. Outside is an entirely different world out there, you know. There are evil things, things beyond your imagination, my friends. Some say, in the darkest of night, after the clock strikes midnight, these tiny little people start walking out of their underground homes. The magical, more advanced civilization of people. These, my friends, are called the mole people. I've seen them with my own two eyes. I have spoken to them in my own tongue. <gasps> yes! Yes, I have. Believe me now. Believe me. Because I tell the truth. I do not lie. No, I tell you no lie. Now. I don't know. I don't really know why these people aren't, you know, out in the day. Because they're so much more advanced than us. I mean, they're small midgets. And they have a lot of hair. And big manga eyes and tails and clothes, but they have technology I've never seen before. They can clone, they can teleport, they can. Well, I just think of sci fi stuff like that, except for the big matter ships in the sky, giant laser cannon shooting us. <sighs> that would be fun, wouldn't it? Being in control of a giant laser in space, being able to kill anyone you want at any time, instantly. By the press of a button. I'm looking at you. <sighs> Imagination, eh? The imagination can tell you many things. I, for one, have a very active imagination. But. I don't really see constellations very well. I mean, uh, I've got. Guide somewhere. I mean, oh, oh, I got them taken down. I used to have posters there uh, telling you about them, stuff like that. Oh, well, very interesting stuff. 
I mean, uh, outside in an entirely different world than being on your average couch potato or internet hole. I tell you many things, tales from the world outside. I've journeyed there many times, I've seen many things, like I said, the more people are just one thing. Wait till you see the Loch Ness Monster. Wait till you see Bigfoot. Wait till you see the giant rabbit. Yes, actually, the, it was a giant rabbit, I think it was last year, last summer. Up in Northumberland, uh, there was a giant rabbit terrorising the farms, and... Actually, it, was, it wasn't a rabbit, it was a hare. Another famous hare is Bugs Bunny. You think it was a rabbit, isn't he? I, I can't remember a bit there. I'm sure he's a hare. Oh, Bugs Bunny rocks, but yeah, I'm probably too old to compliment him. Yeah. Nineteen-year-old shouldn't watch cartoons. But uh, I like me and manga, I like me anime stuff like that. But outside, there is an entirely different world. There is this thing called. Fresh air. There's this blue thing in the middle of nowhere called the sea. There are people from different countries with different coloured skins and languages and eyes shapes. Well, there were many things. There was land made of ice, land made of, made of sand, deserts you call them. I don't know what the actual official name for a frozen wasteland is. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. I'll probably have to do a bit of reading into that. I do like reading. But uh, with the summer, just, well, actually, it is around the corner. I mean, as you start knowing, I think the light at night, I mean, it's dark now, it's only, uh, let's see, 10 past 7? Oh, yes. I think in a few weeks' time, it will still be daytime at this time. People will still be walking around, everything won't be as quiet. Because I mean, you notice that the night just kills everything. Well, apart from your drunken hobo and chavs you get walking around with shouting and bawling their heads off or begging for money or loose change or begging for cigarettes and spliffs and condoms and. Syringes? England. Only in England. <sighs> and you look at America and you see that's broken. Look at your own country. It's broken itself. You have one thing they don't. Charles. Deport them! Well. Hitler tried doing that of the Jews. Nobody wanted them. And so... Well, he got the gas bill and he killed himself. <sighs> poor guy, poor guy. He was only trying to help. Uh, oh well. It's just how things go, isn't it? But I see you. I, Spike, truly recommend that you take a break every now and again and walk outside. There's green things in the ground called grass. It's all over the place. These big Smelly creatures called cows eat them. And poo in them. And, well, it, you get you get a picture, right? Nature. It is a fantastic thing. That's a quite gruesome as well. Uh, Discovery Channel. Yes. I can tell you many things. I can tell you loads of things. But, oh well. Ten minutes is enough time to be ranting on about this. Till we meet again, my fans. Till we meet again. Because I have many things, I have seen many things, and I know many things. I am Spike. And uh, you are watching me. I am staring at my webcam, pointing at. See? Two dimensional screen, I'm breaking the fourth wall. Oh crap! Now that. My friends, is illegal. I don't recommend doing that, but I recommend you get outside and experience nature for yourselves.